Good morning, evening, afternoon, or night, wherever the hell it is where you are. Welcome back. I've got some pretty exciting stuff that I'm going to be doing in a minute, and uh, I thought I'd give you guys a quick peek at it. So, the 400 kilowatt STI builds motor is a short block at the moment and heads, and we're about to put it together. So, I've got a pretty short time period to get this done. Um, I won't film all of it, I'll give you guys a few little snapshots along the way uh, without wasting too much time the first thing i'm going to have to do is get the studs in and get it on the engine stand and start getting the heads on so we've got some big boy 14 millimeter head studs along with our nice manly h tough pistons and rods balanced crank closed deck block all of the good bits and pieces i'm just going to get into it i'll get you guys back with this when i've got it on the engine stand we have a short block on the engine stand. I'm gonna do the passenger side first. I'm gonna start getting everything cleaned up and ready to chuck the heads on. So we're gonna get all of these surfaces super, super clean. I'm gonna give the heads a really, really good clean as well. Yeah, then we're gonna get our head studs in. We're gonna get our head gasket on. Gonna get our head on and torque it down in sequence. I think uh, 130 odd foot pounds is what they get torqued down to with these 14 mils, so. Let's get into it. All right, legends, so we've got the first head on. I figure I might film this one for you and show you how it's all torqued down. Now this has got big boy like 14 mil studs in it. So it requires a lot of torque. So yes, <clears throat> we will uh, get on to doing all the torquing down of the second head. So this is a bit of an interesting build, it's a fairly basic build. So we've just gone for Manly H tough pistons and rods. Oh, I'll get this all the way down to 30 foot pounds. We've got stock cams, we've got beehive, beehive springs, and we've got 14 mil head studs, ported and polished exhaust and inlet ports. Just a real basic combo to, you know, make 400 odd kilowatts. We'll see what happens, but that's the kind of goal for it. Just pump boost through it see what happens i'll show you quickly as well i've marked the head studs where they go 90 degrees um, that way when we're talking it up because we are putting a lot of uh, a lot of torque into these head bolts we know whether the studs moving into the block further as well so we've done as arp have recommended of just seating them into the uh bottom basically um, they recommend 10 foot pounds I've probably done maybe five just double double checking we've got everything going the right way and then we'll clock that up to 40 foot pounds for those central ones go and there we go now the next torque spec from memory is 70 and then 87. You can see even at 70 foot pounds, it's a lot. to 70 and then I'll crank it up to 80 or 87 the torque spec is 87 there gosh that felt like a on to the next one which is a whopping 110 foot pounds on the outers and 115 on the inners so at this stage, we're already getting over like that there is what a lot of heads are talked to uh, just normally. So uh, from memory, I think my um, Skylines ARP head studs, which are just like stock 11 millimeter head studs were done to like 80 odd foot pounds. Most ARP 2000 WRX head studs are done to 90 foot pounds. 
you know, pretty much where we were there in the center with our 87. So these guys go right up real tight. It is ridiculous how much torque gets put on them. You wait and see. So now we go to our 110. I can feel my back cracking. And I can also feel the jig starting to move a little bit, which you probably just saw as well. There's another big back crack. looking pretty good so far I'm just gonna crank it straight up to 115 so I don't really want to be doing this any more times than I really need to so you can see it's a lot of goddamn pressure that gets put on it there's 115 we'll do our center two and I'm just being mindful of all of those marks I can see that some of them have moved just a smidgen so I just got to be mindful of that Holy moly, might um, do that trick. Hundred and fifteen on both of those done. And now we bump up to a hundred and twenty and a hundred and thirty. And then we do a hundred and thirty all round and then we check it. We gotta repeat it. Beautiful, that's what we like, that's what we like. There we go. There we go. Now we go up to 130. There is our 130. We do our inner two, and we do our outer four. Let's just get that on before we fucking. And now we're doing out of four at 130. There's our out of four done. At 130. I'm just gonna quickly do one more check. All right, I'm happy with that. And we've done pretty goddamn well. One of them have gone over 30 degrees by the looks of it, which I'm pretty happy with. Should mean we're in the clear. That's probably the one with the most. And we're sitting at about 30. So as you can see, it's quite physically demanding. Like, I'm not weak. Um, not that strong either. And yes, it's quite physically demanding anyway. There you go, there's the head studs all talked up. I'm gonna get the cams in and all of that jazz now. 
hope you enjoyed it. All right. So now you can see we've just lubed up all of our cam journals without getting any lube stuck down or pushed down a bunch of lube into our oil feeds and we've lubed up all of our tappets or rocker followers or cam followers sorry whatever you want to call them and we're getting ready to put the cams in with the remaining tiny little bit of battery I've got left. I'll just do a quick rundown. So when you're putting heads on, you really want to be thorough, thorough, thorough with having everything super duper clean. All mating surfaces need to be cleaned. The block itself needs to be cleaned. Any metal shavings or anything that has could possibly have gotten into the block needs to be cleaned. Cleanliness is your best friend with assembling motors and motor work. The more clean you can be, the better. Apart from that, go for gold i mean obviously check clearances as you're going and make sure that you're putting it all together the right way if you're unsure check factory service manual or the workshop manual whatever you want to call it or take very very thorough pictures as you're taking it apart although you will need the workshop manual for some parts like the torque specs and sequences overall that's pretty much it just be super duper thorough super duper careful things like your cam caps are directional um, so they only go in one way. It'll say like this one's the intake and then that one's the exhaust and they've got a little arrow pointing on them. So you kind of, you, as long as you pay attention, you can't mess it up. Hopefully, yeah, you don't have that issue in the future. I've, I've known some people that have unfortunately blown motors to not knowing that cam caps go in a certain location. RBs, to be honest, um, not EJs. EJs, I've, I've seen plenty of other stuff, but yeah. If you're ever trying to do this for yourself, just be super thorough, super careful. Go through everything as you're, as you're doing it. If you don't know what you're doing, if you do know what you're doing, you can go a little bit quicker. Um, have fun with it. Peace out, guys. I look forward to uh, getting the fab work done on this and getting this motor into the car and seeing what kind of power we can get it to push with said turbo sitting down over there. Awesome, guys. Take it easy. Be better every day.